Alright guys, it's finally here, FIFA 19, and that means one thing and one thing only, it is going to be time for our new Heart of Midlothian career mode on FIFA 19. Now I am doing a Hearts Master League on PS 2019, you're going to think, well, is it not going to be a bit similar guys? Well, it might be similar in the fact that both FIFA 19 and, and PS 2019 are pish, but in terms of the... Uh, actual similarity apart from that man it's going to be completely different FIFA totally different game from PES career mode a totally different game from Master League so I'm really looking forward to getting into this last few seasons we've been hearts it just hasn't really went as planned I mean in FIFA 18 if you can remember first year in the job we came 10th in the league it was on manual passing it was an absolute disaster um, we decided to you know contact uh, carry on have another season I turned off the manual passing and in season two, we were actually second in the league. We were like about five points off Celtic, I believe, but seven in front of Rangers as we were heading into February. But unfortunately, we never managed to complete it. We didn't upload any more episodes because I'm a lazy bastard. And we'll never know what would have happened. Could I have won the league? I doubt it, but it looked like we would have at least finished second. So I think that has to be the aim here because we'll be starting straight away on assisted passing. I've just given up with the manual. I can't do it, guys. I don't know. I'm too old, man. I've no good. At, I've not. I'm not. I'm not at the top of my game anymore, man. I'm an old bastard. I've, I've peaked. I'm shite now, so I just have to play it on assisted because I've, I've no got the, uh, I don't know, awareness or capacity or ability to play on manual. So here we go. Board expectations for Hearts in this career mode. You can see domestic success is high. And, um, well, yeah, of course, I understand that. To me, high should mean try and finish in the top three, I think, first season and take it for there. Continental success is very low. I don't think we'll be in Europe first season. Pretty sure we won't be. Brand exposure is medium. Financial medium. Youth development high. I'm, I'm okay with that. We'll try and bring through some good youth players. I know we're going to have a, a lot of very good actual young players in the initial team that we have in real life. Uh, but we will look to bring through a few youth players from FIFA as well. And you see Hearts found in 1874. Hearts have won the uh, title. League 1 title. Division 1 title. Whatever you might call it. Four times. And I've won the Domestic Cup on eight occasions. Last time we won the league title, I believe, if I remember correctly, was 1959. 1958 to 1959 season. So, you know, it's been a shitload of time since we've won it. We need to put that right. Uh, we did come second back in 2005-2006. Uh, we could have won the league that year if George Burley didn't fucking leave us, you know, or get sacked. But um, it is what it is, guys. Let's put the rights wrong and let's try and get Hearts back to the top of the Scottish Premiership and stop Celtic because uh, not a lot of people have been able to stop Celtic at the moment and I mean it's, I guess it's up to us we cannot allow 10 in a row to happen so why not Let, let's go and let's <laughs> let's tell them that uh, there'll be no 10 in a row well well son of Scotland 90's about how about 90 in a row I wouldn't mind that but uh, that's a bit unrealistic I think so here we go Scotland get rid of that shite England, England badge man come on where are we you're fucked if you don't know your alphabet here, man. You'll be all oh, you'll be looking all day trying to find your wee flag, right? Um, who are we gonna go? I mean, it's the same fucking faces as last year. See when they said they've changed absolutely nothing in career mode. They weren't bloody lying, were they? It's the same cunt you've got. You've got the Morgan Freeman lookalike. You've got some black bald bastard here. You've got a guy that looks like Ronnie O'Sullivan. You've got Lee and all fucking messy lookalike. Some eld white guy with grey hair and fucking. This guy looks like Einstein from, not Einstein, Eye Horse for bloody The Strain, vampire shows. There you go, man. All these faces, pish. I've seen them last year and I've seen them again. I suppose it doesn't really matter as long as we win the league. Right, we'll go with the guy that looks like Ronnie O'Sullivan. Why not? Why the hell not? If, uh, if we're half as good at this as he, Ronnie is with a, <laughs> a pool cue or snooker cue, whatever, then we should be alright. So, right, guys, there's a new difficulty this season. It is ultimate difficulty, and that is what we're going to be going on, right? Now, it is my first time playing it. It's the first season. I expect to struggle, okay? Please do not go into the comments and be like, you're shite, right? Well, you can call me shite. I don't mind if you call me shite. I probably will be shite. But don't be going into the comments and be going, mate, lower the difficulty. Because it's not going to happen, right? First season, highest difficulty, a new high difficulty. So it's a new standard. I haven't done this before, right? You've got to expect me to struggle. I'm not going to be kicking off the season like we have in real life, five wins in a row. Chances of that is very unlikely, okay? New game, first time playing it, hardest difficulty ever. So 
fucking expect a wee bit of failure and a wee bit of struggle from the beginning. Half length is going to be six minutes. Currency will go with Sterling Stadium. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get this called Tinkass away. Why not? We may as well call it Tinkass. I mean, Ivy Lane's fucking shit. Right, Tinkass. So there you go. It might bring us a bit of luck with the correct name. Stadium capacity is about 10,000 more than it should be, but we'll, uh, we'll not worry about that. Apply and exit. Ah, we're almost there, guys. Current squads. We want to have the initial... Wait, choose the first initial squads. We want current squads. That means there's going to be updated into it. Transfer window. Enable the first summer transfer window. I think we should have this on. I think we should disable this. What do you think, guys? And then just play the first season as it is. Should we do that? I think we should. I think we should do that. Because... I don't know why, I just think that Hearts have brought a lot of players in over the season and I wouldn't I wouldn't mind, you know, just starting fresh with the actual team we've got rather than focusing on bringing players in. So I think we're going to disable it and then in January we'll look to make a few signs. It might be unpopular, but I mean, I like a bit of realism and I just think that the Hearts squad is so different this year than it is for last year. It's like we've actually went out and signed a whole, a whole new squad ourselves, so I just don't feel the need to put the first transfer window on and I'll be kind of realistic, more like real life. And then you've got the European competitions, and we want to enable them. Well, we edit the groups. We'll have a quick look at the groups here. Oh, look at this one. Champions League and the Europa League in FIFA for the first time since I cannot remember. Who the hell is this? It looks like one of those shitey teams you'd have in PES. Look at that. Oh, they're for Switzerland, apparently. Nutshell. What the fuck is that, man? It does. It looks like one of those pish teams PES would put in. That's mental. Cannot believe this team's in it. Can we, can we switch them a bit? Uh, oh, you can actually put two teams for each. Oh, that's mental. That's great. But uh, if there's for Switzerland, we'll, we'll switch. We'll put Basel in. Eh? And this team for Austria. Never heard of them in my life. Uh, we'll put Salzburg. Or is there another team for Austria? Better than. S I just think you want the best teams in it. I will put a Salzburg. In. Who's this? Tondela. Hold on. What's it? What fucking hell? Is FIFA turned into PS here with all these? Shitey clubs in the, the Champions League. I cannot believe this. I actually don't fucking believe it. Right, we'll put Benfica in. Let's have a look at all the other two. Hold on here. Well, so, uh, I guess they are, would be the right team. For you. Kilmarnock? Are you absolutely shitting me? Hold on here. Hold on. Why is Kilmarnock in this? <laughs> Guys, what's actually happened here? What, what What is wrong with it? FIFA's broke. It's broke already, man. The game's just came out and it's fucked. This is absolutely... Look at that group. Why would that be a group? Is there any way you can, like... Jesus Christ, I've just went totally randomised it. Oh, no. What have I done? Um, how do you put seed it? How do you... Oh, my God, what have I done here? Uh, all changes will be lost. Right, we'll, we'll go back, guys. That is absolutely messed up. Hold on here. We'll edit the groups here, because that is that's absolutely insane. Right. Just bear with me at the moment because we need to change this. It's, I mean, I can't. We can't have come on in the Champions League. You know what I mean? What an absolute mess! I I, I expect this from Pez every single year. You do not expect this from FIFA. I know I was joking saying FIFA shite like, but I mean they're not getting off to a good start here, are they? I mean, you could argue one of these teams should be swapped about. I mean, I don't know, but, but I think we'll we'll leave it at that. I feel sorry for Group C, man. They're getting absolutely shafted up the hole here with, with that group, but I think that's it. I believe everyone there is in. Everyone who should be in is in. So we'll, we'll advance. And then we'll have a quick look at the... Um, we'll have a quick look at the Europa League and we'll put some teams... Oh, look at this. See, we're supposed to be in the Europa League, but I don't want to be in it because we just don't deserve to be in it. So we'll get Rangers in this. Because Rangers actually qualified in real life and we didn't. Well, Rangers are in it, but I still don't think we deserve to be in it because we did not qualify and we weren't in the qualifying section. So what we'll do is we will put Aberdeen's in it as well, right? I take it Hibs on the one, right? We'll stick Hibs in it. I think that's fair. I mean, I want to qual, I want to win the Europa League, but I want to, I want to qualify it for it fairly. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we didn't qualify. Hibs finished above us in real life, so they deserve to win it more than we do. So there you go, we've uh, put Hibs in it, 
And that is it, guys. Looks like we can go ahead and do it in advance. So no Europa League. Kind of sucks. But uh, we'll make sure we're in it next year. No doubt about it. And now we can go ahead and advance. <laughs> Bless me, man. Holy shit. Dying with the flu here, but I'm still committed to playing FIFA. Committed to, you know, sitting up late playing this pile of shit game. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Right. See what, see what FIFA does to me. It's making me sick. I haven't even played a game yet and it's making me sick. So, Andres Iniesta on field to some mad team right create new career mode. Uh, we'll be getting stuck in with hearts. I've totally butchered that again. What have I done? Ah, fuck it. Um, decline. I don't want any pre-season friendlies, man. I think we want to get stuck straight in. That's what people like. People like to see you get stuck straight into the games. And that's what you're going to get here on this channel. No doubt about it. We're just going to get stuck straight in, man. And that's about the size of it, really. So let's have a quick look. Before we advance, obviously, there's no transfers or shit like that to do. And you can see the results of the draws. And the draws have been made. Uh, you got Real Madrid, you got training, we can go ahead and put training in here. What we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the squad. So, where the hell are we? Club squad, hearts, squad hub, is it squad hub? Aye, squad hub, right, here we go. So we'll put them in order. So in goalkeepers first, you got Slamal and Doyle. 67 and 66 rated. Right back's got Michael Smith, Brandon and Godinho. Looks like Smith is clearly our best. Right back, 7 ratings higher than the rest. You've got Suto, 69. Centre back, Aaron Hughes, 65. Haring, 69. Burr, 56. Berra, 74. I think Berra deserves to be a gold in this game, but I mean, 74 is still a decent rating, but I think he deserves to be a bit better than that. Hope he's not injured like he is in real life. You've got Garuccios, left back. McDonald, right mid. Morrison, right mid. Amankwa, right mid. Shahoom, centre mid. Burns, centre mid. Martin, centre mid. Bosnic centre mid. You look at all these guys. None of them really stick out really apart from Shuhum. Um We've got Callaghan, 62. Harry Cochrane, 64. I thought he'd have been a bit higher rated, but he is very young, so there's loads of room for potential here. We've got Ollie Lee, 67. Mulraney, the left mid, 62. Uh, so half of these players are nowhere near as good as they're rated on pace. Funnily enough, we've got Ryan Edwards, who I think we've loaned out this season, but he's still at the club. Stevie Naismith, we've got Uche. McLean, Kel Lafferty, and McKenna, and Samson. Why the fuck are these guys in the club? Right, guys. So, I don't know, know what's actually happened here. It's an absolute mess. It's an absolute fucking mess. I have... I don't know what I've done. I, I did the updates, but it's no count of them. So, what we're going to do is... Well, this is going to do it for episode one. You've had a look at the team. But what we will do is, we'll set it up, I'm going to have to go restart this, go through it all again, download the latest updates, and then we'll be back for part two, man. It's an absolute shame that this has happened, but fuck it, man. It's, 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 it's What a shit start to this season, like, really? Absolute shit start. But what I will do is, like I say, we'll save it here. This will do it for part one. And I'll go on and I'll restart the save. I'll make sure all the latest updates are available so we have the proper teams. I'll spend a bit more time on the Champions League and Europa League groups. I'll get them. I'll try and get them as perfect as they are in real life. Spend a bit more time on that. I just didn't want to waste about 20 minutes in the video. And then for episode 2, when we're back, we will have a full look at the new updated squad. Have a look at the ratings. Have a look at the formations. Have a look at the calendar, and we'll see how this season ahead looks to be. But anyway, guys, that's it for part one. Thanks for watching, and again, apologies for FIFA fucking up. Not my fault, man. I did. I clicked download the latest squads, and I don't know why it did they fucking work. Ugh. I mean, I expect this shite for pets. What is it, man? First of all, you've got weird fucking dodgy teams that don't exist in the Champions League, and now you have players that should have been transferred ten years ago still at the club. Insane. Anyway, guys, until next time. Thanks for watching.